What up YouTube, it's your boy David Clipperhands. We finally reached 30K subscribers. Help your boy reach 50K. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And for this tutorial, we're gonna be doing a low burst fade. When doing any low burst fades, I like to line up the V shape first. This helps me position my fade from staying even on both sides. Also, keep a comb in hand when doing a lineup for the V-shape to comb out all the little hairs for a more detailed line. With your preferred trimmer, we're going to create our first guideline. Make sure to keep the guideline low since we are doing a low burst fade. Make sure you don't go too far back. Since we're not doing a mohawk, we're doing more of a burst and it's more like a circle shape. It should look something like that. Once we're done creating our guideline, we're gonna follow it up by using our shaver to get rid of the rest of the stubble for a more skin tight fade. With your lever all the way closed, make sure to go up a quarter of an inch high and slightly we'll be opening up the lever and we'll still be going up a quarter of an inch for each step. Now that we have our lever all the way open, we're gonna move on to our half guard and have it all the way closed. We got our half guard on with the lever all the way closed. Remember, we're still going up a quarter of an inch high. And when doing these type of haircuts, I use the corner of my blade to my advantage to help me smoothen out the lines in trickier areas since we are keeping it more lower. Continue to open up the lever slightly for each of the steps until you have it fully open Then you can just close it and then you'll move on to the next guard, which is the number one. Now we got our one guard with the lever all the way closed. Continue to do the exact same steps with your lever. It's time to clip her over comb. Yes, my comb has a missing tooth, but that's fine. I'm only gonna be using the top part. With all my haircuts, once I'm done using my one guard with the lever all the way open, I move on to clipper over comb. This does help cut your time in half for haircuts by not having to use your two or three guard. It is a more advanced technique and it could be really difficult. So if you try it, just have some patience. Don't forget to angle your comb to dig in with your clipper to get that line out. And when cutting with the longer hair, make sure you use like a scoopy motion so you don't dig into the hair. We'll be using our trimmer now to get rid of the bald guideline we created using our shaver, only using our corner of the teeth with a flicking motion. We'll be lining up the C cup area. Don't forget to keep a comb so you can comb out all the little hairs for a more crisp line. We'll be doing a freestyle on the other side. When doing any type of designs, I like to first make a rough sketch and I'm basically creating the line, but very lightly. And then once I got the design in place where I want, then I'll go in and make the lines thicker. It's kind of hard to see, but I use my fingers a lot when I'm using the trimmer to press on his head to give me more control over my trimmer. If you're having trouble coming up with freestyle designs, just do whatever your mind tells you to do and just create guys.
Once we're done with that design, we're gonna come back with our clipper with the lever all the way closed and just get rid of the rest of the hair in the bottom. But once we get closer to the design, we're gonna open up the lever and just kind of flick it out. And then I use my half guard when I get closer to the design so I don't blend out the lines to keep it dark enough so you can still see it. I use my trimmer to get rid of the rest of the stubble and I follow it up with my shaver for that razor skin look. Before cutting any hair on the top, make sure you wet it. That way it's easier when you section it off to cut. I like to start in the middle to create my guideline and I follow that from the left to the right side as well as cutting it in the back. You are able to follow it all the way down. Now we're gonna be lining them up in the front. I like to start in the middle to create my guideline for my left side and the right side. Keep a comb in hand so you can comb out all the little hairs in the front to give you that perfect straight lineup. And don't forget to step back a little bit to make sure that the lineup is straight. Pull out your razor. This does help out your lineup stand out even more. Pull the skin with your opposite hand. That way you stretch the skin and you don't cut your client. We'll be using our level three styling powder to style his hair. With your hands, mix it around lightly until you get the volume you desire. There you have it guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below what tutorial you want to see next. It's your boy David Clipper Hands, and we out.